Hey guys, it's Desert Survivalist, back in the Desert Survivalist bunker. Wanted to uh, welcome those of you that are newly subscribed. Um, hopefully this video will be informative, uh, something interesting to learn for y'all. Um, I just picked up these cases, a bunch of these cases actually, um, of each of these types in a lot of surplus I bought and wanted to show off to you guys. These are excellent examples of surplus that you can convert readily into uh, excellent prepping prepping items. Um, I know these guys are pretty common. Uh, these guys not so common, but you can still find them. I'll start with this guy. This is the uh, M258A1 personal decontamination kit. Um, kind of hard to read. This one expired in 1995. Um, these were issued with the M17 and M40 gas mask. They went in a little side pocket on the gas mask bag. Um, they're personal decontamination kits um, which came with a number of these little packets. These are uh, decontamination wipes uh, for various stuff. These are for, uh, these particular ones are for training. That's why they're blue. I think the normal ones were green. I don't quite recall, but um, they're basically just little little hard cases. Once you seal that w lid, it's pretty darn, it's a real tight fit and they're, they're, they're waterproof. And on the back is this little uh, spring hook attached to a nylon uh, strap that holds the lid onto the case. Now these are incredibly handy little cases. I've just kind of got a couple things in here to show you. Um, you can store whatever you want in here. I've got a, a roll of tape and if I get it out, a uh, thing of H&H &H gauze in there. These make perfect first aid kits. Um, they're not extremely large, but they're large enough to strap onto your gear. Uh, you know, strap three or four of them on the outside of your rucksack with various things in there. Um, I was going to show you this. Uh, one of the uh, standard 4x7 bandages will fit in there and you just kind of got to push on the lid to get it to close. Um, but you put two of those bandages in there. Um, you know, everyday carry items like tactical flashlight, box cutter, um, fit easily in there. They're real handy little kits to have, or uh, boxes to have in order to make kits out of. If you can pick up three or four for your preps, do it, and you know, you can label them right on them with Sharpie. You know, they're, they're really... You know, I'm squeezing pretty hard on this thing, and it's not really bending all that much. It's a very rigid box. Um, I don't know if you could run over, run it over with a truck or not, but they're still very sturdy. If you if you throw this thing, it's not going to break. Um, but yeah, that's a, that. These are great. I have a couple of these for my prepping gear, um, for making small kits out of or carrying stuff that you don't want to get wet or whatnot. Then for the larger boxes we have the M256A1 uh, detector kit chemical agent. Sometimes you'll see these uh, issued oh, you know, for training purposes only and sometimes you'll see the real ones. These were made 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm not sure if they still use this but um, nice thing about this box it does have these nice uh, nylon straps that are velcro. has one on the bottom too. Um, not really sure what that one does. Honestly, it's not really strong enough to act as a belt loop, but it doesn't really hold the lid on either. So what you gotta do uh, is just simple. You pull the lid up and it drops open. All the ones I got came with the uh, original uh, kit operating instructions. They're going to attach by that black thread you see. You can cut those off if you want. I was just going to show you some neat things I was looking at. You can stack probably uh, at least three across of the uh, extremely useful Altoid tins in this thing. And probably still something on top of those too. You can put four of the uh, four inch uh, Israeli bandage in there and or you know one and some other you know, gauze and tape or whatnot 
uh, as long as it is flat and level with the top of this because there's not really much wiggle room. Um, you got two nice subdivided compartments and then you've got the all-important carry strap. Now I wish they would have made these with some way to attach them, you know, Alice style onto your on your stuff. You can still kind of, if you've got a carabiner, attach it via this uh, to your gear, but it only has that on one side. The other side it's stapled on. But at least it's got somewhat of a sling that you can carry it carry it with. Not a big sling, but um, still they're very useful little cases. These are also very rigid plastic. Um, not flimsy at all. I'm really kind of impressed with these little things, uh, the possibilities of what you could use them for. There is a, uh, right where you see that little red light, there is a drain hole down there. So these are not waterproof, but they do, you know, if you have your stuff in Altoid tins, you know, sealed with wax or something, uh, they are pretty useful. Or, let's see, I'm, I'm experimenting live with whether these actually fit in here. Hmm. Oops. Yep, those fit in there. So, if you, if you got you two of those, two of your M258 cases, you can fit one each into your M256 case and have, there's your water waterproof component of the whole deal. Um, if you guys got something, you know, you got some of these cases to lay around, experiment. Shoot me some ideas on what you could build out of them. Because I just kind of got these tonight and was kind of playing around with the possibilities. And, uh, you know, these are just some random survival items I pulled out that you could store in them. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, keep around for we got more content coming. Make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe as I fumble over the ending of this video. Thanks.